A mutiny has broken out in the Russian army in the Lehman direction. An assault unit of the 19th Tank Regiment of the Russian Armed Forces has mutinied at the front. They officially stop following orders from the command and take up a circular defense against the rest of the 25th Army. Russian soldiers have accused their commanders of lawlessness, telling details of what is happening in their unit. They claim that the command intends to eliminate them for refusing to carry out, according to one of the fighters, ill-considered orders leading to huge losses. Their commander with the call sign Atlas has already begun to shoot other soldiers without permission. The unit's leader said that commanders were sending Russian units into poorly prepared assaults, resulting in 90% of their personnel being lost each time. Recall Russian soldiers on the front line resort to stealing each other's valuables due to lack of supplies from the government. Russia's ground forces have seen rapid expansion as a result of the war in Ukraine. Quality has not kept pace as larger numbers have not offset poor training and huge equipment shortages. For Russia, the only path to a military victory is through attrition and the use of its larger armed forces to ground down the smaller Ukrainian army. The supply of ammunition, arms and manpower looks set to be a critical factor. Russia's domestic ammunition production capabilities are currently insufficient for meeting the needs of the Ukraine conflict. Western officials claimed, saying Moscow has been able to increase its supply only by seeking out alternative sources of ammunition and weapons, which does not offer a long-term solution. They pointed to the impact of sanctions as one cause. Sanctions are hitting the Russian military-industrial complex hard, causing severe delays and increasing costs. An inability to access Western components is severely undermining Russia's production of new systems and repairs of old systems with long-term consequences for the quality of weapons produced, they said. <laughs> А кто-то вообще уже настолько отчаянный, блядь, что вот ходят просто без броников, без касок, без автоматов, потому что уже просто похуй. Извиняюсь за выражение. Просто все устали. While the Russian armed forces are suffering defeat in their attempt to recapture the Kursk region from the Ukrainian armed forces, Russian TV is dreaming of victories over America. Propagandist Vladimir Solovyov called for devastating strikes against the United States on the state-run Russia One TV channel. On the program, the propagandists discussed the fight against the American dollar. Solovyov, after listening to the expert, proposed his own method, the complete destruction of the USA. My approach is much more humane, much faster and much simpler. The strait, named after Stalin in place of the United States. Cockroaches drown. People survive, we tell them in advance to run away, and the cockroaches drown, the propagandist said with a smile. His words greatly pleased the invited experts. Recently, Russian military expert Igor Korotchenko recently suggested on state-owned TV that the Kremlin plans to attack U.S. ships with nuclear weapons. Earlier, U.S. officials revealed to the Associated Press that President Joe Biden has since allowed Ukraine to use American-made weapons to fight against Russia's attacks or planned attacks in the Kharkiv region. The weapons are only allowed to be used to defend Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, and Kyiv is not to use American-provided long-range missiles. In my opinion, there is only one adequate, fast and effective response to the increased strikes against the territory of the Russian Federation with American long-range weapons since Biden and U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan have given the green light and Ukraine's armed forces will carry it out. Total destruction of all electrical generation in Ukraine, Korotchenko recently said. Recall Russia is amending its doctrine on the use of nuclear weapons as a response to perceived Western involvement in the Ukraine war. Despite Foreign Minister of Russia Sergei Ryabkov said that the decision to change the nuclear doctrine is connected with the escalation course of our Western adversaries. In late August, Ukraine confirmed it had used weapons supplied by the United States in its Kursk incursion. In theory, Russia could lower the threshold at which it might use nuclear weapons, a bar currently set for either nuclear attacks on its territory or conventional attacks that threaten its existence or sovereignty as a state. 
Russian military propagandists are starting to openly talk about the need to end the war with Ukraine as quickly as possible. The huge losses of Russian military, which can no longer be hidden, are making a depressing impression on Russians. In a live broadcast on one of the Russian TV channels, retired Colonel Military Observer of Komsomolskaya Pravda, Mikhail Timoshenko, spoke about the internal mood in Russia regarding the war and the situation in the army. According to him, more and more Russians are beginning to think about how many more lives will be lost and whether it is worth continuing the war amid the chaos with payments and benefits for combat veterans. People are starting to think, well, to hell with it. How many more guys are going to die? We don't need this anymore, he said. The propagandist also emphasized the level of corruption in the Russian Defense Ministry, which has seriously bled the Russian army dry. Russia's total losses since the full-scale invasion of Ukraine now total 600,000. These figures are approaching the level of losses in the initial stages of Operation Barbarossa during World War II. The corresponding statement was made by the head of the NATO PA, US Congress member Jerry Connolly, in a conversation with Radio Liberty. According to him, such a high level of losses is a reason for Western allies to draw certain conclusions about the state of the Russian army. According to the congressman, the Kremlin's decision to involve North Korean troops in the war against Ukraine demonstrates the weakness of the Russian army. It indicates that Russian potential is exhausted. The politician emphasized that North Korea has one of the largest armies in the world, but the last time it took part in military action was 70 years ago during the Korean War. The interlocutor believes that the DPRK expects to gain combat experience for its military during the war in Ukraine. As previously reported in September, the daily losses of the Russian army became the largest during the entire full-scale war. According to estimates by the British Defence Ministry, such dynamics are in particular connected with the battles in the Kursk region.